Hello and welcome to Europogin News. This is my last day of presentation of European news in English before Maith returns tomorrow from a conference in Italy. Today's news will mention Serbia's presidency of the European Council, Gordon Brown and culture in Europe. Let's go! Serbia was to take over the presidency of the Council of Europe on Friday for six months. This chairmanship, given in alphabetical order to Belgrade, was the source of many concerns. How can a country responsible for the violation of international rights judge guilty less than three months ago of letting happen the Srebrenica massacre by the International Court of Justice in La Haye? How can this country be delegated the presidency of an institution responsible for the promotion of democracy and human rights in Europe? Doesn't that sound controver controversial to you? It is particularly the International Penal Court of ex-Yugoslavia who is complaining, considering this delegation as a threat to the European Court of Human Rights' credibility. On the other side, it might be a chance for Serbia to move on. We just heard last Friday that the pro-European Serb parties came up with an agreement for the formation of a new government. The president of the European Commission, José Manuel Barroso, declared Mr. Blair's actions leaded the United Kingdom from the periphery to the center of the European Union. After 10 years of functions, Mr. Blair announced on the 10th he would step down from his functions as prime minister on the 27th of June. 10 years were long for him and even longer for the country he considers. According to a poll made by the BBC, Mr. Brown, actual finance minister, might not be as popular and trusted as Tony Blair, which might give a chance to the opposing Mr. David Cameron for the forthcoming elections. According to the poll, 30% of the British recognize themselves in Gordon Brown against 40% in David Cameron. Only the 30% remaining still prefer Tony Blair and should therefore follow his support for God Gordon Brown. Culture and creativity are in direct link with the daily lives of our citizens. So declared José Manuel Barroso on Tuesday as the Commission had just adopted its first ever European strategy for culture. The Commission proposed a cultural agenda of three main objectives. One, the promotion of cultural diversity and of intercultural dia dialogue. Two, the promotion of culture as a catalyst of creativity following the Lisbon strategy. And three, the promotion of culture as an essential element of the EU's international relations. Finally, culture might receive the credits it deserves. An American company has had a great idea, putting sounds to Google Earth. Being able to hear how sounds the place you're zooming on from your satellite picture. Wouldn't that be fantastic? With more than 3,500 hours of sounds from all continents, from mountains to deserts, recorded in 40 years' time, the company Wild Sanctuary detains the largest sound database in the world, and it is ready to accept the challenge. Nothing has been signed yet with Google, but they are expected to find an agreement at the conference held in San Jose on the 29th of May. And finally, human rights number six. You have rights no matter where you go. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow on Europocket TV on the French version. Bye bye.